Hello, and welcome to the E.O. Johnson Business Technologies Self-Help Video Series. This video is intended to demonstrate the procedure for programming or changing the profile for scanning to a file folder. Before we begin, a few assumptions need to be made and explained before the process of programming a scan to file profile can start. First, a folder needs to be created, shared to the network, set up with the correct read-write permissions, given access through the firewall, and the security set as your system allows. Your IT department can help you with this task. Second, you will need to know a few things about your system the name of the device the file folder resides on, in our example it's test laptop, the name of the file folder set up to receive the scans, in our case the folder name is scans, the username and password of the device the folder resides on, in our case test laptop, the username is scan test and the password is scan. And lastly you need to know where this system information will be used. You'll need to know the path which is the device name and the file folder name, or in our example, it's backslash backslash test dash laptop backslash scans. And we need to know the folder authentication, which for our example will be the username and password, or scan test and scan. To begin the process, we need to press the user tools counter button. Then using the down arrow, select system settings press OK then using the down arrow again select administrator tools press OK add address book management press OK and at program change press OK at this point you can either change an existing profile or create a new one to make a change use the blue number keypad to enter the registration number for that user profile if creating a new entry, use the next open registration number, which will automatically be populated, or use the blue number keypad to enter an open registration number of your choosing. For the purposes of this video, we will create a new entry and use the registration number of 001. So, press OK. Now, enter the name of that profile. In our case, we will use John Smith. So, in order to get a capital, you press the shift button, and then the J, and then to go back to lowercase, press shift again, and escape, then finish the name out. O, H, N, space, shift for capital, S, shift back, M I T A. Once completed, press the OK button to save. Now we need to give the machine the details of our profile John Smith. So press the button under details. First, for our scan to file folder, we need to give it the authentication information. So press the OK button. We'll arrow down to folder authentication press OK and we need to tell the machine to specify other authentication information so arrow down and now at this point press the button under user we need to provide the user name which in our case will be scan test so shift S shift back escape C now we need to move the cursor over to the right A and now capital T shift back E S and now move over to the right one more time once entered press OK to save it now we need to provide the password so press the button under password and in our case the password is scan all in lower case so we type in S C, move over, 
A, N, and then OK to save. And it's going to ask us to re-enter it to verify it. So S, C, A, N, OK. At this point, hit the OK button again. And now hit the Escape button. Now arrow down to folder information and press OK. It will be an SMB scan, so select that by pressing OK. And we want to do a manual entry, so press OK. Now we need to enter the path to our file folder on our computer. In our case, the path will be test dash laptop scans. To enter that, first of all, we need to give it a symbol, which is the backslash. Press OK. We need another one, so press symbol again. Use the arrow keys to manipulate to it. Press OK. And now, this is all in capital letters at this point. T E S move over T and now we need to add the dash and then the laptop L A P T O P now we need to add another backslash so symbol Okay, and then scans, S, and the rest of scans is in lowercase. Move over. And once it's in correctly, press the OK button. Now you'll see where the screen will display ComTest. This is to test your communications. So press the button under ComTest, and it shows connection to PC has succeeded. At that point, you need to press the button under Exit. Now what you want to do is press the Escape button, and press the button under the word N. At this point, our programming is done, so press OK. It will show Program Change at the top and now you can press the user tools counter button and it's been programmed well that's all there is to it additional model specific information can be found at our website www.eojohnson.com thank you for using the EO Johnson YouTube channel